Good morning. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlog. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. It's going to be a very productive first half of the day and then some fun in the evening. What that fun is, I don't know yet, but it's the last weekend before Christmas. So we're going to try to enjoy some Chicago Christmas stuff today. I am currently on the way to the gym. It's cold. So it's on the ground, it's stuck. It's official. I can see the smoke, steam rising from buildings. We are in it now, guys. We are in it now. Basically three weeks from literally this moment, I will have completed um, the 5K, 10K, and half marathon for the Dopey Challenge with three weeks from tomorrow being the full marathon. So I will go ahead and put a disclaimer here and say, do as I say, not as I do when it comes to training for runs because this has not been my greatest training block. I just was texting Carolyn Earhart about it. Like I learned the hard way of like why you shouldn't just like give yourself a nonchalant like week off because I didn't run at Disney. I, I ended up not running a week after that. And then we went into like a weird perpetual sickness amongst myself, amongst the family. And so like, I haven't been really good about my running. I still have an aerobic base. That doesn't go away overnight, but it does deplete as you don't run. But I mean, like, I did run a 20 miler the day we went to Disney. So, like, my aerobic base is there. It's got some rust on it. I need to buff that rust off the next two weeks. So, basically, my plan is I'm supposed to run, like, today or tomorrow is, like, the last long run in a normal, healthy training block for Dopey. So, a lot of people, like, online that I follow or groups I'm part of are, like, talking about the long runs. Um, so tomorrow was supposed to be my 23 miler. That's not happening. Got to be safe still. So today we're doing 10 on the treadmill. Tomorrow we're going to do 15. And then we're going to sprinkle some six milers in the week. Next weekend, even though it's Christmas weekend, I'm going to uh, strive for an 18 to 20 miler. And then we'll sprinkle some like four milers because then we're into the week before Dopey, which really... The reason why today, this week, should be the last long run is because you should start a taper to be run well rested for the, for the dopey. So it's going to be an enjoyable dopey this year. It's not going to be performance, but I'm here at the gym, so got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, E.B. Did Jamesy just interrupt your slumber? This is what happens when you fall asleep on the way home from your night out. You get jammy pants on and your shirt from yesterday still. Oh, Teddy. Teddy's been doing the cutest laugh where it's like gaspy. I'll see if I can get it today. There it is. It's like he's gasping for air. Wow. Uh oh, all the stickers you put on the next page. Did he even get you? <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Good morning. Peter is at the gym. He did say he is introing today, <laughs> yesterday's video. He did not intro when I thought he was going to. Um, we woke up a little bit later today. Nobody really slept well for whatever reason. Um, so yeah, a little bit of a late start, but it's our last weekend before Christmas. So today, we don't know what we're doing, but we're doing something. Uh, I told you guys I love the dry erase park park. 10 miles done, time to get the day going. I had to run over to the Walgreens next to the gym because we are on a hunt today for cranberry pop. So we have yet to see it other than like once, like a month ago. And we're getting desperate. So I'm gonna stop by this Walgreens and a Jew on the way home. Wanted to give a little running recap. Uh, 10 miles on the treadmill, not bad. I mean like, I just hate treadmills. 
but the physic my physically like my body was fine it was I, I clock I just kept it at 10 miles 10 minute miles um, like I said I'm not trying to do anything crazy dopey I'm just gonna try to enjoy it might even go on some rides during the, the fall but 10 miles today done um, I haven't been drinking enough water lately so that's something I need to get pick up and also be rolling my legs and stretching probably twice a day um, between now and dopey but I think if I eat some good food like healthy fuel today and drink a lot of water that I should have no problem doing at least 15 like a crazy maybe 18 tomorrow on the treadmill dopey is gonna be fun <laughs> Where are you going? I think Teddy grew up during his nap today. <gasps> you look older. I meant to film this inside after my last clip and not in the freezing cold because it's bitter. Um, but I am headed out today to elevate coffee to get some work done. I only work on the vlog when the boys are asleep or when Peter is not working. Our day in and day out of our life, you know, takes up a lot of time. So I only do, you know, my work at that time. So I get behind on some stuff and then I, you know, I, I think about things that we used to do or I think about things I want to do or goals. Um, and so we are going to set aside some time on the weekends for me to do that. I think we talked about this before that we were going to try to do it like during the week, a few times a week. Um, but we've just found that our, you know, our everyday life just kind of doesn't allow for that. So I'm going to go a few hours on the weekends. That way Peter's home and I could be like, my mind can be at peace about that. So I'm headed there now. So Peter's been here before. I have not. I hope it's open. Yep. Open till four. They've got nice seating. So I'll hang out here. So I got a orange pistachio, white mocha. And usually I don't get coffee. It does have espresso in it, but it sounded so holiday. I had to get it. All right, are we going to Trader Joe's? Me and the kids got them packed up, ready to go. We're gonna go for a little grocery trip. Everyone's gonna be so happy and cooperate, right? <laughs> Let's see. We made it. I go shopping now. We did good. We just missed a few things, and the kids were really good for me. Now we're in line to check out. Time to get home with all this. Bye. All right, check that box on the old parenting list. First time I went to the grocery store by myself with both kids. So, first time for everything. Um, they were really good. Teddy got a little fussy on the drive back, but you know, he's not the biggest fan of cars all the time, so it's kind of to be expected. So I still gotta get these kids in the kitchen to put the stuff away. And we actually just stopped by the coffee shop Sarah's at um, to get the keys because I don't know where the second set of keys are for our apartment. So, gotta figure that out. All right, it's like 4.30 and um, we've had like a rough patch of like sleeping the past couple weeks, more so with James, but also with Teddy, but Teddy's gotten better ever since we got like the pack and play and the mattress for it. Um, and James, it's like hit or miss. And just now, James went down for a nap like in 15 minutes. It was great. And now both of them are asleep at 4.30. That's incredible. Sarah's finishing on the vlog up. I'm just going to chill for a minute and we'll see how long they sleep. We'll see how long it takes for the, the editing of the vlog to finish and then we'll see what... What tonight holds. This is great. Look at that magical view right there. Two sleeping angels. Alrighty, I'm getting the vlog finished up. We've got little women on. Teddy, do you know you're named after that character right there? Him? That's who you're named after. I do 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 do. I do 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 <laughs> That's how ticklish he is. Oh, it's too much. Oh, it's too much. Um, and Peter got these. What, where are you going? <laughs> Peter got me these pomegranate sparkling beverages from Trader Joe's. Let's do a quick taste test before 
Mmm, it is not super sweet. Like it almost like tastes like a kombucha, but more, but not as like bite, like not as like almost vinegary like kombucha kind of tastes. I'm a fan. I am a fan. And Jamesy took a late nap. He might be waking up. But he might be back to sleep. Yes, James still sleeps with his eyes open. Just like he did when he was a baby. Just like I do. Just like Teddy does. Just like a lot of Peter's family does too. The jeans were stacked against us on that one. Um, this is my inner turmoil. It's getting late. I don't want to wake up James if he needs the rest. I want to go out and do Christmas stuff because it's our last weekend before Christmas, but it's really cold. But it's Saturday and we are like on the south side all day tomorrow. What do we do? I was thinking like, what's something we could do from the car? What's something that's guaranteed inside? We didn't take our Christmas card photo, so maybe we'll do that, but that's not, that's not a night's worth of fun. What do you think? If you get another tooth, so help me. Oh. So you guys saw me yesterday wake up early, read, and talk about, you know, trying to fresh start, new routine, all that good stuff. A part of that is being a, more aware of like groceries and our meals and just like, kind of simplifying our life in general because like we're we're busy folk we like to be doing stuff um and there are just not enough hours in the day so i was just thinking you know things that are important like eating and cleaning and things like that can be simplified so that there's more room for fun because we like to have fun um so i'm doing a little science experiment and it's actually not that like groundbreaking of a concept but I made this week's grocery list for just one week usually I kind of go in with some ideas of dinners I want to make um, but this was like strict like what we would need in a week and at Trader Joe's I just found the receipt we spent $138 like that's too much to be spending for one week and some of those things you know might go on to the next week like we got some cumin, we got some, I don't know, some things that'll last longer than the week. But in my simplified meal prep plan, I wanna go grocery shopping at Aldi and kind of compare and see, is it worth spending a little bit extra at Trader Joe's for getting everything we want? Um, or should we just shop there? Funny thing is like they're owned by the same people I love Aldi. I think their food is great quality. I just think that their selection is um, less than Trader Joe's. There's just more options at Trader Joe's. Um, so there's there's my thing and I will report back. I don't know. Next week might be a little bit weird because it's Christmas, but um, that is the plan. Today I am cooking a recipe from this book. Um, a part of my new I like I don't want this clip to be too too long um, I am just gonna go for it basically my idea is that on Mondays and Tuesdays we're gonna have some sort of taco something um, in a tortilla something of that nature so I can make it all on Monday eat it Monday do like bath time and um, cleaning on Monday kind of stack our Monday and then Tuesday have leftovers and have fun and then Wednesday it's gonna be more of like a veggie stir-fry something with rice and a salad and make enough so that there's leftovers for Thursday on Friday we're gonna do those yummy like Buddha bowls that you just kind of can throw together with whatever we have left over from the week Saturday cook something from this book basically just opening our horizons and our recipes um, especially when Peter is training for big events. And then Sunday dinner is kind of, you know, usually with the family and not as like structured. So that's my idea. Um, hopefully you're not bored out of your mind by now, but that is just something that is a part of this like new routine that I am excited for. These are what I'm going to make, these sweet potato chickpea 
cakes. I love anything that's crispy and yummy in cake form. So I'm gonna dip it in some sort of sauce, I'm sure. And yeah, try something new. I don't like sweet potato, so I'll probably do half sweet potato, half yellow potato. I have never actually cooked sweet potato. Have I? Maybe I've made sweet potato wedges. Do I have to peel this thing? I'm gonna peel it just in case. Advice, if you're gonna make this, realize that you have to cook your potatoes first. And potatoes don't cook that quickly. So I'm boiling those now and getting other things situated as well as a salad. But that would have been nice to start a little bit ago. Okay, I'm mashing up the chickpea and I actually saved the aquafaba, which is the liquid from the chickpea cans, separate to use instead of the egg like the recipe calls for. So these will be plant-based. Half a cup of rolled oats are in. An onion is now in. What's funny is this is very similar to my black bean burger recipe. It's just chickpea instead of black beans, so I have a feeling we're gonna like them. Trader Joe's did not have fresh parsley, so I had to use my shaky parsley. A teaspoon of cumin and then salt and pepper are the seasonings. Okay, so I separated the mixture into two different bowls because I'm gonna make one sweet potato version and one not. So now they go in the fridge for 15 minutes just to firm up. While that firms up in the fridge, I am making salad dressing. It's basically like that um, homemade Caesar dressing, but with hummus instead of like cheese and oil. So it's like the hummus is there, red wine vinegar, capers, um, garlic, salt, pepper, a little bit of uh, lemon juice. Um, so that's kind of just like a quick Caesar dressing. And then I made these on Thanksgiving, basically just like, oops, maybe I'll just have to eat that. Um, homemade croutons, so you just like crumble up um, two pieces of bread. I'm gonna put some plant-based butter on it with some garlic powder and then put them in the oven and top the salad with those. Alrighty, the sweet potato cakes are on. I already did the regular potato and honestly, I should have made them bigger like this. They became a little crumbly. Also, I do think using egg would have helped bind it a lot more than the aquafaba, but they're still tasty. But I think this was a better example of how to fry them up. Make them a little bit thicker and add a little bit more oil to keep them crispy. These are the yellow potatoes. And here are the sweet potatoes. Definitely <laughs> closer to what's in the, the book as the sweet potatoes, but makes sense because that's what they, they used. Alrighty, here's the finished salad. I added some avocado with lime juice and salt, and then the little croutons. And then for dipping sauces, we have the garlic dip from Trader Joe's, and also the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. Are we ready to eat? Was Mama a little overzealous with her meal? No. I feel like the night is over. <laughs> Jamesy's new favorite meal. A little bit sloppy. Uh oh. She pee. Oh, I do want that. Pee! Oh. Mmm. How long? Mmm. What do you think? It was really good. Yeah. Honestly, we made the full amount and we ate it all. You sit on a throne of lies. We didn't do anything Christmassy today. Now you put signs on. It's like the opposite of Christmas. You know what today was? Productivity. A day where everything you do takes a little bit longer than you expect. And then it's midnight and you don't know where the day has gone. We did get a lot done. And we had fulfilling time, just not Christmas. It's okay. My one thing I just keep telling myself, it's really cold outside. So, I don't know. We got a week, and I'm going to make a list. Christmas. Christmas. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.